Hey everybody, welcome back to Cool Bike Projects. Great to see you again. I'm excited to share with you a brand new bike that I just ordered. This is a Marin Rifty E1 full suspension mountain bike. Now, for those of you who have been with the channel for the last couple years, please don't be alarmed. I'm not changing gears anytime soon. I still have a huge passion for fixing up and restoring 90s mountain bikes, classic cruisers, and even road bikes. But this is something I've been saving my pennies for for some time. And Marin Bikes was kind enough to give me a deal on this incredible bike. So, hope you'll be excited for me as I build up this bike and do the first test run. Let's check it out. So just a quick rundown on the specs for this bike. This is their mid-tiered trail series of e-mountain bikes. A lot of people would mistake it for an enduro just because of the size of that down tube. But this is 140 millimeters travel front and rear. What I like about this bike is it's definitely got room for upgrades, but the suspension is plenty good for anything I'm gonna do with it. Up front, it comes with a nice 140 millimeter pike debonair front shock and a RockShox Deluxe with lockout and three point settings. The cockpit itself comes with a 35 millimeter stem, nice and wide handlebars, and through axles both front and rear. Interesting enough, this bike comes stock with Cush cores pre-installed. What that means is you can have a dead flat and still ride out without any air in the tire. It also means you can ride with a lot lower tire pressure and corner things a lot harder. New to 2023 bikes is the Shimano EP6 motor. It has the same technology as the EP8, which has been out for a couple years, but it comes in a little bit heavier to save some money without sacrificing any of the power. So my compliments to the mechanic who assembled this bike. It seems like a pretty straightforward thing, but every one of these bearings was torqued down to the proper spec. The wheels were nice and true and had good tension. You never know sometimes how a bike's gonna be assembled. And I was really impressed at how well this thing was ready to go. All that was left to do was charge it for its first ride. So no big rock drops, no ladders, just some beautiful single track here in Southeast Idaho. But I will tell you this, it was fun being able to catch up with younger riders who can pedal all day long. And with my injured foot from last year, it was just nice to be able to put this thing in trail mode and just spin. So whether you've been riding for a long time or just getting into the idea of the sport, this has made this a true equalizer. The Shimano motor is nice and quiet. EP6 just like the EP8 has a ton of power to it, but you can use as much or as little of the power as you want. I like how the cockpit's laid out. The computer in this case, I have mounted on the right side. In a comfortable stance, you can look down and be able to see where you're going and be able to shift through the gears just fine. This came with the larger 630 watt battery, which I gotta tell you would last a very long time on a trail. In just two weeks, I put 55 miles on this bike and it feels like I've only put about 10. The bike just goes and goes and I love how long the battery lasts. So the question everybody wants to know is how does this bike ride? And I gotta tell you, this thing is sweet. I've had a lot of bikes over the years and I've always been on kind of that quest for what's the perfect size frame, especially if you're doing, you know, enduro style mountain biking or more trail style biking. And while I'm kind of new to the whole e-bike movement here, I gotta tell you, this has been the best thing I've ever done. 
Last year, I messed up my ankle pretty good, and I was in a boot for more than a month. I was feeling pretty sad on life there for a while. But I finally had a chance to ride my brother's e-bike. And to be able to go down to Utah and to be able to climb up anything you wanted, to be able to descend with the same confidence you had before is amazing. I'm 5'7", 5'8", and this is a medium-sized bike. And I was concerned with the 29-inch hoops, maybe it'd be a little bit too big for me. But for whatever reason, maybe it's the geometry or the 140 millimeters of travel, but this thing is dialed in perfect for me. I'm able to carve up and down the hills, able to descend with confidence. These beefy 2.5 inch tires are more than enough to tackle any trail. And uh, despite the weight by having a big heavy battery in there, this thing just does awesome. So for me, as a person getting a little bit older in age, I really appreciate what this bike has allowed me to do. And I appreciate the fact that I still have a good workout, even though the motor's doing a good chunk of the work. So if you've ever been on the fence about trying out an e-mountain bike, it doesn't matter to me what brand it is, but I would definitely encourage you to try one out. If you've been injured, you're just getting back into the sport, and you're looking for a way to keep up with your friends, try it out. See what you think. Um, these things are awesome. Anyway, thanks for checking out the channel, guys. If you're new, for those who've been around with me for a while, you know that my focus is primarily on restoration and resto mods, and that's still the main purpose of this channel. But if I see you on the trails, more than likely you're going to see me on this bike right here. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.